Hello, this is Mikey, and I know it's been a while, and I just want to say I'm back. I'm back into this channel again. This is one of my favorite things in the world, and I've been really distracted with a job and moving and all sorts of things for the last couple of years, and so here I am. I wanted to say thank you with this brand new plugin called Quick Cover. I'm releasing this as a name your own price, so that's very affordable. And uh, yeah, just thank you for sticking around for helping me build this channel to what it is, even if I've been kind of absent for the last little bit. Anyways, let's talk about this plugin. I'm really, I'm really excited because this is the beginning of a new era. <laughs> Not this plugin, but just making plugins. And uh, so let's talk about this and then stay tuned. I've got a lot more stuff in the pipeline. So what Quick Cover is, is it's... It's nothing that you couldn't do natively in After Effects. You could, it's a four color gradient um, that's sampling the images. Well, let, let me show you. Let's turn off this logo. And uh, let's, uh... so here is just an image, something I found. You can see still got the watermark on it. I found this one because it's it kind of really good illustration. It, this is, uh, mind you, kind of a niche based plugin, but again, it's a good price. So if we go to effect, down to Element Supply Company, go to Quick Cover, and then boom, that's it. It, it, it covers it up. And so what we see what's going on here is we got all the corners, we got Feather Blend, and some extension and composite over original. So what this does is it's a four color gradient. Let's just turn that off so we can see what it's doing. It's a four color gradient where it samples the color at the, the point, and then it crops it, right? And then you can feather, and if, if you need to kind of extend the edges in one way or the other, you can do that. I generally don't need to do that, but just in case. So then what this is doing is, let's reset that. It's just covering up this. I mean, a lot of backgrounds have this kind of this gradient or this not um, perfectly flat color, and if you need it, quickly cover it up, hence quick cover. Now we can see it's not exactly perfect. But we have, we can like kind of blend it a little more. And I mean, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much there. Um, so that's what it's for. And let me show you some examples. So here's one. And because we have this top left and right corner, bottom right, we can actually attach it to tracking data, which is what I've done on this. So if I, if I show you here, I went ahead and tracked this uh, laptop. And you can see, you know, you can use it to cover up a logo or something like that on the back of a laptop. You can see, again, this is all, this is not all one flat color. If you were to just try to paint that over, it would, it would look a little funny or you have to do lots of time blending. Again, this is pretty quick. Once you have the tracking data and I just attach the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right to a four uh, corner tracking. And again, here's another version of that. You can see in this video here, it goes out of focus and it just tracks the whole thing because it's sampling the color. If the colors shift because of focus or it's moving, it'll automatically shift the color with it. So that's really cool. And one thing I wanted to show you in this one is let's say you go through, you have this whole thing tracked and they say, Hey, cause what we did here is we covered up. Uh, they didn't want the sticker on the side of this. Oh, we actually removed that sticker or whatever it is. Or can we change that to something else? This is the kind of work that happens all the time, little quick cleanup things. So we do that and they're like, ooh, actually we also don't like that that fan. <laughs> Even though, you know, whatever it is, that's, that's a bad example, but this is the example we're doing. So then what we can do is um, with ex extension, we can move it, right? So you don't have to have where the quick cover is based off of where those points are. You can kind of extend left, right, top, and bottom to be able to, a little more blending, and there we go. Quick cover. Now let's go to one more that's a little more complex. So here is an example, let me, uh, where I, this is actually where I got the idea from, is I was doing something quick with a logo and they just wanted the logo to be like, a little smaller in frame and it was just a JPEG and I didn't have 
the same uh, background color. And so I'm like, there's got to be a quick way of doing that. And so, you know, just do a quick roto on it to get it out, just a track, you know, just a garbage mask or whatever it is. And then let's turn on this background. We can come in and add, let me add just a new version to start from scratch. So effect, quick cover. And what we can do is we can come in and like, I can pick kind of the right colors, just where I want to cover up the shoe. And sometimes, yeah, that's looking pretty good, right? And then what we do is then we can extend to kind of cover up a little more. And let's blur, let's feather the edges. And that's a that's a pretty good uh, quick cover right there. And then we turn on the thing on top of it and we have just really quickly built a background. So there's a lot of different things you can use this for. This is just some examples. I mean, if we go to this quick cover, this is just, blows my mind look how quickly we can just come and like cover up some stuff you know you know say there's a logo on a shirt or something like that this is not the perfect example because the strings aren't whatever but if there's a logo on the shirt or something like that so quick cover again available at Element Supply Co. Um, and uh, there's a link in the description. Thank you so much for being a follower of mine and subscribing to the channel and uh, supporting me on this journey. And stay tuned, we've got more plugins. And one thing I do promise is that they may not all be free. You know, I do have to make some money off these things, but I promise they're gonna be affordable. We're not gonna try to gouge people and um, and we're not going to do like subscriptions or um, giant bundles that cost a million bucks just to get the one that you really want. Um, that's not how we do things at Element Supply. So thank you so much and we'll see you later.